U.S., the gloves came off in a second Republican presidential debate with frontrunner Donald Trump coming under attack from 10 rivals on the stage at the Ronald Reagan Library in California. Topics included immigration, terrorism and health care. Only the four lowest polling candidates had their own smaller debate. All right, let's get more on Wednesday's fiery debate, which took place live right here on CNN. One of the hot topics was the tentative nuclear agreement with Iran. Some candidates said they would void it immediately. Others, of course, said they'd be more cautious and monitor Iran's movements. Have a listen. The single biggest national security threat facing America right now is the threat of a nuclear Iran. If I am elected president on the very first day in office, I will rip to shreds this catastrophic Iranian nuclear deal. If they cheat, we slap the sanctions back on. If they help Hamas and Hezbollah, we slap the sanctions back on. And if we find out that they may be developing a nuclear weapon, then the military option is on the table. We are stronger when we work with the Western civilization, our friends in Europe, and just doing it on our own, I don't think is the right Thank policy. You. I was the, one of the first ones to call for terminating the bad deal with Iran on day one. The president came after me and said, I need to bone up. You know, the president who called ISIS the JV squad said, I need to bone up. The reality is it's a bad deal on day one, and it's a bad deal because this president has allowed Iran to go closer and closer. I'd love to play cards with this guy because Barack Obama folds on everything with Iran. We need a leader who's going to stand up. For more on all of this, let's turn now to our Frederick Plackton. He's checking the reaction to CNN's Republican debate from Tehran in Iran. Uh, Fred, was anyone there watching the Republican debate? And how do they view a party with where every single presidential candidate is against the nuclear deal? Hi, Linda. Well, the debate here obviously took place in the uh, very early morning hours here in Iran, so certainly not that many people were watching. And we also have to, of course, keep in mind that it is still very early in the presidential uh, campaigns, and so right now uh, it isn't really on people's radars here. However, it is something that, of course, uh, plays out very big in Iranian media, and we also have to say the Iranians uh, usually are very, very well informed about politics, specifically about American politics, and, of course, especially those that pertain to the nuclear agreement, and they have heard. The rhetoric that's coming out of the Republican camp from people like Donald Trump, Marco Rubio, Carly Fiorina, and it does have people here uh, quite concerned because they, of course, also view that the deal here in Iran is also being viewed quite skeptically by some people. And the last things that, that those who are defending the deal here in Iran want to hear is Republicans saying, well, listen, if we come into office, the deal is going to be torn to shreds. And it's also something that's caused so much concern among uh, the governing uh, uh, people here uh, who are quite moderate that the um, foreign minister, Jawad Zarif, in a visit to China recently said, look, we believe that if there is an agreement between two governments, that agreement needs to stay in place no matter if there's a change in government uh, in any one of the countries. So they certainly say they believe this deal is something that will stand, but they are very concerned about some of the rhetoric that's coming out of the Republican camp. And given how many were, like nations have, are behind this deal, it's going to be pretty hard for any Republican president to rip it to shreds on day one in the office. Yeah, that's certainly something that's also being discussed here as well. They say, listen, first of all, we have to keep in mind that this is a deal that's not just between Iran and the United States, but it's between Iran and various other countries. And, of course, they've also seen the delegations coming in here from Europe, from Germany, from France, uh, from Italy, from the United Kingdom. And that, of course, is something that leads them to believe that these European countries want the sanctions relief to kick in as quickly as possible. So uh, right now, the ma majority of people that we've been speaking to are obviously very critical of the remarks that have been made by the uh, Republican candidates, by many of them. But they also say that they understand that these are early stages in a very fiery campaign. So a lot of them said, listen, we understand that this is campaign rhetoric, but that still uh, doesn't mean that people aren't concerned about the language they hear because they know that the deal is such a sensitive issue in the United States, but of course also a very sensitive issue here in Iran as well, Linda. A very sensitive deal, and it took many years to, to actually come to that agreement. Frederick Plyton in Tehran, thank you very much.